okay, thanks is my new favorite oh text message. Oh, my God. What do, okay, tell me what the appropriate response was. Once I walked through the door, you showed some semblance <laughs> of caring. I hadn't had any coffee yet. I know. Well, I know. I'm sorry I couldn't get you coffee as I'm... That is a little rude. As I'm vomiting. You know what I did say to Kelly? I go, you know how I know he's really sick? He didn't stop at Starbucks this morning. <laughs> that was the joke. Here we go. Have a seat. Save your energy. We have an hour. I said if I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now, here's Jason. You come to work and people clap for you. I love that, yeah. I don't, I don't think I have to ask, but I will. How y'all doing? You doing well over there? Well, welcome to the Jason Show. I'm Jace. Uh, thank you for being here. We have a fun... Uh, let me just tell you right here. I'll, I usually tease a little bit later, but we have another fast food field trip coming your way today. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. But first, let's start with this. <laughs> Come back to the TV because crazy, this is, this is my favorite video of the day. Crazy video from our friends in Tampa, Florida. Look at this. A woman was filming while feeding her chickens when they suddenly froze in place. She was sh <laughs> This is real. This is real. She was shocked. She didn't know what was going on. The woman later learned it's a chicken a chicken defense mechanism when chickens think they're in danger. It turns out, it turns out there was a hawk nearby. And the chicken spotted it and stopped in place. By the way, the staff does that when I walk into a room. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Cue the music, Leo. Let's get this started. Well, I freeze in place when I see her because she's so beautiful. Give it up for Fallon, everybody. That's right, pulling in for Kendall. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm well. Yeah. Those, you know, people always act like chickens aren't smart. I feel like that's really smart. I know. Yeah. Chickens do get a... I can't believe I'm saying this. Yeah. Chickens get a bad rap. They do. They, I mean, they, they do. do. We show them no respect. No respect. Yes. They're pretty smart. Yeah. I wouldn't know a hawk was around. No. No chance. No. I do get like that when people get around my chicken wings, though. Yes, I mean, yeah. I just... <laughs> You know, Start snarling a little. Or they get near my pull tabs. I'm like, no, 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 no. Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> I love working. I love this show, and I love working here, and I love our crew. You'll never know. You, you wouldn't believe the emails that we get or, or what um, seems like a really big deal to us. So yesterday, we told you about our swag store, and we said that we, <laughs> we told you that we, we have a whole new line of winner stuff and one of the things that i promoted was this this winter mug uh now no 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 oh no 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 oh no 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 oh please hold on uh so i told you and there it is right there it's beautiful don't even show it i know so it's actually because i pick all of this stuff out i i fell in love with this it's really cool okay so i told you guys about it within minutes of our show airing we we got this 
urgent email from the woman who runs all this. It said urgent in the subject line. You would have thought Eden Prairie was being invaded. You know what I mean? Yeah, like aliens were coming down. Urgent, must read. Jason and Jeff must read this email. And it was like, stop selling the mugs because they were out. They can't make any more. Uh, there we. So what? They can't. They can't. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Jeff is having. I'm. I'm good. Jeff, he be the like the chickens and freeze in place. Yes. Yes. We're right there. Uh, Right there, freeze in place. I got this. <laughs> okay, we're getting more, but but from the the poor company that makes these, they cannot guarantee that they'll be there before Christmas. So just know we we did add a temporary um, winter mug. Jeff showed us a picture here. Now there it is, right there. Now look, it's not. A, I know the audience is it's like, okay, not. It's, a, it's fine. It's thank you. It's yeah, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's no. Wow, that mug yeah. went over well, Jeff. It's no mason jar mug. No, it's yeah. no mason jar mug. Yeah, and don't we didn't make it. I mean, you know. But anyway, these will be back in stock. I, I don't mean to just rub it. They, they are really cool, though. So we will make them as fast as humanly possible. The next email is going to be like, Jason and Jeff, we need you in the warehouse. <laughs> Jason's going to be hand painting mugs. <laughs> so if you want to go to our swag store, we have links on all of our socials, on Facebook, on Instagram, head there. And thanks to they, thanks to Linda who runs this for us. Let's get started, everybody. It's time for the hot dish. Roll it, Leo. Uh, I don't have my spoons today. Oh, well. Okay. She's one of the biggest movie stars of our generation. We're talking about Julia Roberts. She has a new movie that's hitting Netflix, and she joined Andy Cohen in the clubhouse last night and revealed something shocking about uh, a few of her famous roles. Listen to this. What have I passed on that went on to be great and wonderful, and I thought it maybe wouldn't have been as great and wonderful with me? Oh. Um, you've got mail. Okay. Um... The Last of the Mohicans. Wow. I can't think of any else. But, but, and also, but there's things that you don't get, like um, Meg Ryan was supposed to be in Steel Magnolias. Really? And she was still filming When Harry Met Sally. Wow. And so I got that part. Yeah. Kate Blanchett was supposed to be in Closer, but she got pregnant. Wow. And so then I got that part. Wow. So I've lucked into some good stuff. Yes. You sure have. Shelby, 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 drink your juice. <laughs> Shelby, Shelby, drink your juice, Shelby. Uh, Julia says she has no regrets about the movies that she's passed on. I, at first, because I Steel Magnolias is, is close to my heart, I love it. At first, I was like, really, Meg? But if you close your eyes, I can actually picture that era Meg Ryan playing mm -hmm. Shelby. Yeah. I, I can, but what, but... Julia will always, always be yeah. Shelby. Always, yeah. It's the same, like, I feel like I could imagine Julia in You've Got Mail. I feel like she would have been great in You've Got Mail. But, I can see yeah. her in You've mm -hmm. Got Mail. Yeah. yeah. Sleepless but, in Seattle, I could have seen her too, maybe. For sure, yeah. yeah. Well, she also, uh, Julia was also asked about her recent interview on the Graham Norton show and being in, in that interview, because, you know, Graham keeps all of the guests out on the couch. And in that interview, she was seated next to Cher. Watch this. We were on this long couch, and it was Cher, myself, Tom Hanks, and Timothy Chalamet. Yes. And I know. <laughs> and, um, and whenever Cher would talk, or even I just kept staring at her, and I found myself moving closer to Tom, uh -huh. partly so I could get a better look at her, yeah. and also because I was just fanning out. And, then, and I'm surprised that the couch didn't tip at a certain point because then Tom was backing up a little bit and then I was backing up. We were practically in Timothy Chalamet's lap. Yes. But, but it was just incredible. And every time she talks, you just go, God, you sound just like Cher. Yes, yes. You can't get over it. Yeah. <laughs> just like Cher. I, so, don't you love that again because we're, we're running out of movie stars they just don't make them anymore mm -hmm. because now with instagram we know everything about movie stars so they're not mysterious anymore so they're grand anyway she's a movie star yes. by anybody's definition yes i love that 
she is even starstruck by Cher. Cher would not be surprised. No, she wouldn't be, no. Cher would be like, of course you are. Yeah. Yeah, oh, makes sense, yeah. yeah. Julia's new movie, by the way, is called Leave the World Behind. Well, next, one of Julia's co-stars, Hugh Grant, is known for being a bit of a curmudgeon. Uh, and he's proving that in a new interview about his movie Wonka, which opens next week. So Hugh, if you haven't heard, plays an Oompa Loompa in this prequel. Uh, he now, I know, just go ahead and laugh at that. He now says, well, Hugh says he now hated the experience because the cameras he wore as part of the special effects. He wasn't done. He says it felt like a crown of thorns. Uh, yeah, relax, Hugh. Uh, after seeing, and after seeing the final movie, Hugh says what animators did with his body is terrible and wasn't worth all the effort. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay. That's like so insulting to the people who made the movie. Thank you. Because wow. I do at times appreciate his unfilteredness that he doesn't give like answers just to give answers but this is rude to the crew yeah you know yeah. these are the people mm -hmm. that they don't make as much as you do Hugh they don't get the attention that you do you can have an opinion about your work and make fun of your work right but don't make fun of their work right. that's that's not funny or cute or clever it's tacky it's, so it's just tacky, tacky. Yeah. yeah it's tacky as hell yeah if I was ever asked to interview him, I feel like I would say, yeah, I'm good. Because I, I just know how it would go. It'd be awful, and I'd be, like, scared the whole time. I have, and it's awful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, yeah. <laughs> the show isn't, though. Our fast food field trip and more coming up. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. My mom just texted in the commercial break. She's very concerned that you're chilly today with your bare arms. Are you okay? Are you? Dar is very concerned that you're cold. Are you okay? She's right. Okay. I, <laughs> I am freezing. Oh, no. There it is. I'll tell you what. He's not gonna let me keep this blanket because <laughs> I asked for a free Jason Show blanket. He said no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. you this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> you look. I love these colors. <laughs> I actually want this in a sweater. It matches the set. Oh my gosh, yeah. thank you. It looks like you're getting ready to read me a story. I am. Yeah. Gather around, children. Yeah, gather around, yes. children. There, Mom, you happy? I helped. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Finding the right Christmas gift for someone can be real hard. So imagine trying to buy something for Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> That's what actress and singer, I love her, Halle ba uh, Bailey, who was in uh, live action Little Mermaid this year. Halle is struggling with, after working with Oprah, uh, in the new Color Purple movie, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel asked her about it last night. Look. What do you get for, like, you have to get Oprah a Christmas present now? So that's really hard to think about because yeah. I've been thinking about all my Christmas presents I have to give this year because there's so many people that have helped me on this journey of this whole year. Beyonce, now Oprah's oh, you have one to get of Beyonce them. A present and too. I just it's so hard to think of what could you get them. Do you have any ideas? Because well, I don't know. You know, everybody likes a popcorn bucket. <laughs> people like those pretzels dipped in chocolate. Yeah. Um <laughs> Other the oh bath soaps are always yeah. nice. Yeah, baths are nice. The bath bombs. Uh huh. Am I not? None of these are good enough. You know yeah. they're okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know you do go on Oprah's list. She tells you everything she likes yeah. right there. That's so true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then go on the Oprah's list and get something for Beyonce and say Oprah said you would really like this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But Oprah's favorite thing. <laughs> Jimmy was making a joke, but he's not wrong. Oprah loves Chicago's own Garrett's popcorn. Okay. So send her. It was on Oprah's uh, best thing, uh, her Oprah's favorite thing list early on, I think in year one. Have you ever had Garrett's? I don't think so. Here in Minnesota, it's a Candyland. Yeah. But it's a Garrett uh, cheese, uh, their, their cheese mix. It's, I can't stop eating it. It's oh, so fantastic. Oh, all right. Yeah. So to Garrett's in Chicago, if you want to send me some, it's, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. I love it. I'll share. Yeah, right. I'm not going to share, but yeah, I'll, I'll share with a couple people. Well, uh, sticking with Late Night, next up, it was one of the signature elements on both, uh, both of David Letterman's shows, Late Night and Late Show. Who can forget moments like this? 
Odie actually talks? Yes. Oh, my God. Well, what will Odie say? He says, I love you. All right, Odie will say, I love you. Here Odie, I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's one of the countless stupid pet tricks from Letterman. Well, you're going to love this. Get ready for weekly stupid pet tricks because Letterman's team is producing a new weekly show hosted by Sarah Silverman. Look. I just have to say, hosting stupid pet tricks, dream come true. I mean, I've got a room full of the best writers in the business down the hall, and we're not going to let you down, Dave. Yeah, this will work. Can I pop some bottles? Back up for us, Lou. Can she parallel park? Better than me. That's amazing! You high five? Solo, stick him up. The only show on TV where you can see a camel limbo. <laughs> so good. It was... It was one of my favorite things on, on Letterman. Stupid, Stupid Pet Tricks will premiere in February on TBS and will also air on Discovery, True TV, and Animal Planet. And Dave will appear, as you saw, along with John Hamm and, and other stars. So. My boyfriend has made his way into so many shows this year, John Hamm. Yeah. You do love John Hamm. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh, another show I'm watching. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. I, it was one of, uh, one of my, not favorites, but it was a blooper. Dave, you never, you know, my mom was a, a dog groomer, a professional dog groomer for many years. So I, I learned very early on in my life uh, all about dogs. Mm -hmm. And I knew you never get in a dog's face, but Dave, and I watched this live, Dave got in the face of this dog and he's like, here, puppy, puppy, puppy. And the dog went, Rawr! and like bit him, like bit his oh. leg. Yeah, he did not hard. So Dave walks up. If you Google it, you'll see it. It was, oh, oh yeah, my. yeah, see? it was. That is why I will not look in the face of the snakes when they are on the show. No chance. Okay, no. By the way, those are our, uh, that's the cherry on top, our two extra ladies there right there. Yeah. Ellen. Ellen, Ellen used to call it the overflow, but that's, uh, yeah, they're, we're just, we're calling them extra special today, right there, yeah. We next, need to get them better, yeah. need, they need well, better lighting over there. Well, we'll get lighting, yeah, okay. but we're getting Thank a new you. set next year, so, I mean, if you could stick around till next year, that would be great, yeah. <laughs> Next up, let's talk movies. It's considered one of the best movies of the, uh, of the mid-2000s, known for iconic scenes like this one. So you don't read Runway? Uh, no. And before today, you had never heard of me? No. And you have no style or sense of fashion? Well, um, I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. Was it? No, no. Was it a question? <laughs> well, come on. Who doesn't love Meryl Streep as the demanding magazine editor of Runway in the Devil Wears Prada? Well, get this. She was nearly passed over for the role of Miranda. In a, in a new interview, one of the movie's producers said someone working on the production team thought they were crazy for casting Meryl, claiming Streep's, quote, never been funny a day in her life. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, they were dead wrong, yeah. and Streep went on, uh, nana nana boo boo, uh, mm, <laughs> to earn an Oscar nomination for the role of Miranda. Yeah, I, she is a dry funny. Yes! So if you can't keep up, that's on you. Uh, that, oh, yes, uh, yeah, <laughs> that whole movie. That whole movie is full of one-liners yes. by Miranda that's yeah. all dry, like my favorite. And, and <laughs> Colin, who has less patience with this sort of stuff than I do, is when she was, when Miranda, she's dealing with slow people, like, you know, they're moving real slow. She was, please, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when we're behind people, because we walk very fast, mm -hmm. Colin will be like, please, move at a glacial pace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Next in the dish, the Golden Bachelor may be over, but get ready. I know. I know. <laughs> but get ready for a new season of regular uh, original recipe Bachelor. That's right. Uh, now, look, I don't watch this crap, but, uh, but oh. I don't. Oh, yeah. We haven't watched it since producer Ted left, but, <laughs> oh, yeah. 
By the way, Ted is fine. People keep asking. Yes, Ted, producer yeah. Vine's doing great in Columbia. Uh, but we love a good trailer. We love a wacky trailer. Mm -hmm. And this buds for you. Here is the new trailer for the wackadoodle season of The Bachelor with Joey. Joey, watch. There will be love. I am falling in love with you, and I've been falling in love with you. When I'm with him, I just feel like a happiness in my heart. I've never felt. There will be laughter. <laughs> and there will be drama. Who the hell are you to tell me that I can't have time with Joey? What? Grow up. You need to grow up. I'm about to lose it. I don't understand what Joey is season. But what happens in the end is an unprecedented, shocking first in Bachelor history. That was crazy. I didn't expect that at all. I can't think that's happened before. I don't even know what to say. I know I gave as much as I could. Sick of feeling like this. I don't know. It feels wrong, but I don't know what to do. Were they getting slapped by Kilbasa? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> that. Why? Just Why? 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 I don't. <laughs> I... They're not in college I... anymore. Come on. Why? I had one, two, three, four comments loaded, but I was like, you know yeah, what? I, let's pull you know it back. what? Let's pull it back a little yep. bit. But um, yeah, you want to take this one? I don't know. I mean, I feel like um, no, <laughs> no. I I don't watch the show either. I think I'll be honest. It's funny, but it's also a little embarrassing for yes. them. Like, why are you doing that? Like the poor the woman. Like, look, I'm not a prude, but the woman that the, they slow mode her, and she's the one that's like on the side of the face getting hit with the <laughs> with the hot dog. I mean, you know. Her friends are going to turn that into a gif. Like, it already is, it I'm is sure. already a gif, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, the new season of that crap premieres uh, in late January over there on ABC. Up next, the mail continues to pile up in our Jason Show offices. Here's another look, a live look at our mail room. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Wow. That's, that's Steven right there. That's Steven. He's new to our team. That's yeah. right. This is our mail room as your holiday cards and letters are arriving at our studio. <laughs> Look at all of those. That's right. Uh, no, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we can't afford lighting for the two ladies over there, but we can afford a sorting machine. Uh, so here's the deal. Anyone who sends us a holiday card, you will get one in return. And again, you know why I love these is because the more you send, the more our bigwigs have to hand address envelopes. And I love that. Yeah. Well... We want to highlight. We want to highlight some of the cards first. One of our new viewers in Illinois sent this card. Cynthia in Oakwood Hills, Illinois. Hi. Says Merry Christmas and peace to all. And uh, Marge in New Market, Minnesota, sent us this card. She says uh, your show. Oh, look how cute. Oh, that's a boxer, I think. Anyway, uh, happy holidays and your show is amazing and the best part of my day. We appreciate that, guys. Uh, and from Keith and Julian, Owatonna, Minnesota, sent us this cute Aww. card uh, with the puppies. They say, Oh, look, Mr. Big and Dex. That's my boys. Um, they say thanks for making us laugh and feel like we're a part of your show. Send us your cards. Our, our, our address is on our uh, uh, socials. Send us a card so the executives will be addressing uh, cards through Christmas. Please. <laughs> we'll be right back. Back in a moment. Coming up in just a little bit, it's one of your favorites, another fast food field trip. Yeah. <laughs> We're jumping in our vehicle. It's obvious. P-R-N-D-L. And heading to a drive-thru to try the McDonald's McRib. Stop talking. Wait a minute. But are we? Mm-hmm. Then, Stephanie Hansen is back in our kitchen celebrating the 12 days of cookies. That and more when we return. show. <laughs> Let's get right to it. We had uh, we had really big plans for our latest fast food field trip. No one on the staff had ever tried the legendary McRib at McDonald's. So we all got in our car, get rigged up with cameras and lightings, and headed to the Golden Arches. Today's special guest, foodie queen Stephanie Hansen. But 
things did not go as planned. <laughs> First, I gotta figure out the shifting. Oh my it's, god. I'm worried it's a radio. Well, it's gotta... obvious. P R N D L. Yeah, I'm reaching for the volume. It's not in Portuguese. I it's speak a little said... Portuguese. Well, good for you. Obrigado. I'm... Oh my god. Oh. I said hello. Oh. This makes me nervous. I know, it's gonna come down. Well, go! Why are you stopping if you're worried about the security gate coming down on you? <laughs> I could use a lawsuit, money. Okay. Where's the closest McDonald's? No, we're going to the Eden Prairie McDonald's. What are we getting? We are trying the McRib. Like Fallon, available for a limited time only. <laughs> Show of hands. Well, I'm driving. Okay, fine. You don't have to raise both hands. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep you one can't... on the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Steph, you have not had a McRib? I have never had a McRib, but I have always been fascinated by them because that series of commercials that they had when they first came out, it looked like they were kind of like real ribs, but in a no, sandwich. It's pressed and meat. I think that's what I'm thinking. It's yeah. like pressed meat with fake grill marks is what I'm expecting. Cue the classic commercial. Looks like Daddy's bringing home the barbecue. A big sack of McDonald's McRib sandwiches. Tempting, huh? Like a barbecue in a bun without the bone. I have never had one. I have not. You haven't either? No. Eric, have you had one? I have not, and I'm pretty sure that's going to stay the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steph, you know that we don't feed Eric. I've observed that. Stephanie, have you been to Shields yet? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, most yeah, beautiful yeah, store. Yeah, Ooh, okay, is Arby's back open? Oh, do they have okay. food in there? Focus. Too? Good Lord, shiny metal. I got like big sandwiches there. I like big sandwiches. Yeah. I like the ch okay. beef and cheddar. Oh. oh my God, you're pulling out. They're stopping for me. Because you pulled out in front of them. I don't like backseat drivers. I am an excellent driver. Happy holidays. Oh, Can we get luck. an adult Happy Meal? I heard those are back. <laughs> There's such little focus happening in the car. Oh. <laughs> Oh, who's buying this time? I'll buy because I am not having you use money bags. I'm not having you use one of your Ronald McDonald coupons. <laughs> Jeff is gonna pull out his coupon from his Mayor McCheese wallet. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Jeff, are you getting how many are you getting? Two. Let's get two. Well, we don't need a whole one, do you? No, two McRibs. Okay. Eating bread and McDonald's a lot, do we? Uh, no, I'm not using the app. Okay, what I'll take two McRibs. I'm sorry, no more great today. <gasps> oh, no! Are they done forever? Yeah. Oh, I missed the limited time. Have you started the adult Happy Meals? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what else are we going to eat, kids? Oh. <laughs> Who planned this? Did the I'll McRib or Daddies! They're liars! Yeah, there, there's a poster. Go tell them about the poster, Jeff. <laughs> Look at I these cute not. little children eating our McRibs. <laughs> there has to be something else to eat. Well, not here. Wait, I guess, yes, there is. I cannot we believe. We can have ham salad wait, at wait, 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 wait. holiday. Stop talking. Wait a minute. We wired up the whole car. <laughs> Nobody bothered to check to see. I emailed PR, remember? Remember? Last well, week? He said, no, we don't have it anymore. And I said, is it available anywhere? And he said, no. Well, why do they still have the sign up in the window? I Jesus. don't know. This is a travesty. <laughs> Food, folks, and not fun. They, I think we might have call another McDonald's. We're not going to go to it. You have McDonald's call. on speed dial? <laughs> Is that a bad hey. joke? Is that a bad joke? <laughs> Whatever. Hungry, hungry heifer. <laughs> it's hippo. I'm sorry. Are they not answering their phone? I don't know. It's Which one are you calling? I don't know. Oh, my God. They hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> you swear. None of these f***s are answering. Well, go on the app. Let me see if I can... Oh, you have the app. I do have the app. Oh, make fun of me. I'm making fun of you because you use your 25 cent off coupon. Uh, it's free french fries. Sandwiches and meals. The McCrispy? No, McRib. McRib currently unavailable. Oh. Quit swearing. Oh, Hi, do you have the McRib? Uh, yes, I have it. You have the McRib? Yes. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> Where are we going? Well, we're not going there. It's University Avenue. Oh, well. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I, I do want to quickly say this. I say it every time because we're in an era where people are overly sensitive. Jeff and I are like the best of friends. We always make fun of each other. So do not be offended by the way we talk to each other. <laughs> it is all in good fun and it's one of the joys of working here. So anyway, on with the show. When we come back, we had to do a detour. Where did we go? Did we ever get food? Will Stephanie ever get that weird salad she talked about? <laughs> Our fast food field trip part two next. Stay with us. <laughs> Circus. Well, I look like I'm sitting in the middle of these two. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. As you just saw uh, right before the break, our attempt to try the McRib and our latest uh, fast food field trip. Yeah, they didn't work out so well. Thanks, Ronald. Anyway, so we had to we had to improvise. So here is the thrilling conclusion of our latest <laughs> fast food field trip. <laughs> Playrooms. Okay, is there a BK around here? Uh, no, that closed. Okay. Um, there's a Popeyes. Oh. Let's try Popeyes. Arby's is closed. I've never been to Popeyes. Oh, Stephanie's never been what? to Popeyes. Uh -uh. What? No, do they have a drive through at Popeyes? Yes. Popeyes? Popeyes? <laughs> Popeyes? Like Popeyes? Oh, they do. Hi, Popeyes. I'm going to Popeyes. I get Popeyes. Okay, oh so. Oh, my God. You too. So, Stephanie's never tried anything at the Popeyes. No. Are you one of those that's like snobby about fast food? Well, she's snobby about everything. <laughs> I eat a lot, so I want to have good, tasty things that I know are going to be worth it. You got to get a chicken sandwich. The papayas. I've never had one. Oh! Okay, so here we go. Okay. With the homemade pickles? No. Oh, I like a homemade pickle. What are we going to get? Why are, are we going to get a chicken sandwich? A chicken sandwich and for Steph. Try the wings? Try the wings. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's go. Which wings? The wings. They have more than one. Do we want to get bone-in things at the Popeyes? Yes, that's flavor. I don't do boneless. Okay, here we okay, go. Shh, quiet. Shh, focus. Here we go. Focus, everyone. Focus. Is that a turtle? Oh, no, it's, it's a not log. a turtle. There are no turtles in See, the okay, which one? Hi there. Uh, I will take one spicy chicken sandwich, and then I'm going to do a six-piece of your signature hot wings. There we go. That's what we're trying, everybody. Jeff's got such a good head of hair. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Oh. <laughs> <It's joking. laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. All right, kids. Okay, here we go. We're going to now, this is our tradition, Steph. We pull over. We pull into the parking lot of the fast food joint that we're consuming. There we go, park. You distribute the food. <laughs> oh, here's the chicken sandwich. Oh, my God. I've had it before. Can we smell it first? Okay. I would like to assess the smell of the bag. The bag? Well, like, they have a smell. Make sure the bite is perfect, like with the pickle. I'm going to have to bite from this side then, because that's where the pickle is. <laughs> Put it in Just take a bite. <laughs> I hear crunch. I hear crunch from the front seat. The pickle's good. I like the pickle. <laughs> it's um, a chicken sandwich. I hope you like no, more the No, the chicken sandwich is good. I think I ate a whole pickle. Thanks, Stepperoo. Love ya. Okay. Oh, God, she did take us. <laughs> oh Good God. Lord. Let's try a triceratops Good Lord. eating back there. <laughs> Good Lord. I hope Roy oh. Shiner survived this. <laughs> we should have gotten another one. Good Lord. <laughs> Looks like the USS Indianapolis. <laughs> no, I'm giving her a person who didn't get anything to drink. Holy crap. Is this just two bites? I don't know. It was but... three. I needed to really get a good sample size. Look at that pretty shiny brioche bun. How that feels? That's solid, isn't it? Mm, that is real good. I'm not going to have any, so you go for it. That is a 10. I know. I'm going to say 9, only because wow. you want to leave room for something better. I've had it before. The spicy is an 8. The original is a 9. The original is even better. These are the new wings. I'm already kind of weirded out that there's bones. It's a chicken. Okay, Chickens have bones. I know. We messed up by not getting a beverage. <laughs> Can't see her. Is she choking back Don't there? Don't spit on the wings. We gotta eat them. Is she choking? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just hearing noises. <laughs> oh, TV bite. Oh. Oh. I enjoy. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Good flavor. Mm. The heat is perfect. The crunch is good. I would like a little more meat. 
If I could put that. Nope. <laughs> the Popeye's new wings, mm. the signature sauce. I'm giving this a 7.5. I'm a six and a half. Jeff? I'm a seven to an eight, because those are a little too hot. And I would also get maybe the boneless. Kids should learn that chickens have bones. Bones mean flavor. Yeah. But it's... Speaking of bones, here, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I brought Eric a lunch. Did you bring him a lunch? Yeah. We finally fed you today. <laughs> Eric, here's your lunch. You have a already eaten apple that someone and a completely smushed, greasy, disgusting sandwich. Tuna fish. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> oh, God. It's like the National Lampoon's vacation. The dog ate on the sandwiches. <laughs> Nancy joins me now. Oh, wow. Oh. I didn't think when we did that that it was even funny at all. Like, because that's just how we are. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie's talking maybe about her Christmas cookies when we come back. Stay with us. <laughs> A few weeks ago, my buddy Stephanie Hansen shared her recipe for ginger molasses cookies and actually convinced me that ginger cookies could be delicious. Well, she's back. Yeah, I don't like them normally. Well, she's back uh, to talk 12 days of cookies for the holiday season. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think we could be funny together. Yes, God, I love you. You oh. know, when you're doing something, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. And then you watch it, because we don't seem funny in real life. We just seem like weirdos. Oh, we, oh, I, uh, Jeff, I, uh, Jeff cracks me up. Like, executive producer Jeff, you always crack me up. So, yeah, anyway. Hi. Hi. So, this is 12 Days of Cookies. You're sharing these. You've been sharing these on your social yeah. media. Yeah, been cooking a lot. Okay, so we're, we have five, five days we're going to go through, my dear friend? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Your confidence is uh, overwhelming. Okay, so the first one, day one, ginger molasses. We made them on the show. We did. We made those with the cookie stamps. Those were real fun. Okay, you and those are one of your signature. Yeah, like your they favorite. had a little orange zest in them, which you particularly liked. Made it a little different. You can see that, by the way, uh, because we've already featured it on uh, on our socials. Okay, number two. Something called chocolate crinkle cookies. What are these? Oh, these are really good. They're just chocolate balls, and you dip them in powdered sugar, and then when you bake them, they kind of spread out. Oh, those right here? And they here? get those crinkly cracks that are delicious, crispy bits of goodness. Can I ask, let's do a, 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 um, a difficulty scale of one to five. What's the, how difficult are these? Uh, a two, a one, or two. You have to roll some dough, but very easy. Very easy, okay. I only make easy stuff. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a debate for a different day. But anyway, okay, let's move to day three, pumpkin cookies with cream cheese icing. Yes, these are like a moist, soft, almost like a cakey cookie. So oh, I like that. Instead of a pumpkin bar, you have it in a cookie. Now, you have to be careful when you put them on a tray because that pumpkin icing can be a little sticky and tacky, but they're very delicious and pretty sophisticated cookie. They're one of my favorites. Okay, difficulty, one to five? Uh, uh, two. Okay. I mean, you got to okay, whip up some frosting, but okay. other than that. Frosting's easy. Yeah. Okay, day four, on the fourth day of cookie, uh, eggnog, eggnog butter cookies. Okay, I love these cookies. They are full of bourbon. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. It's just a super simple butter cookie, but you really can taste the, the smokiness of the bourbon in the cookie. So it's an eggnog type of buttery cookie with a little whiskey hit. Can I speak for the people that are right now in the audience going, oh, I don't like eggnog, because I don't like eggnog. Will you still, is it overwhelming eggnog flavor? No, it's just the seasoning that you would get in an eggnog. There's really no nog, just egg. <laughs> Yeah. Date on the fifth day, Russian tea cakes. Okay. I everyone everyone
everyone's mom makes these. I My mom made them. They were her signature thing. I have feelings about them because I, I love I know, I heard them. your radio show. I know, I don't really want them on the cookie platter because they get powdered sugar all over everything. But like, you can put them in a separate It's so, it's, it's powdered sugar, not sulfuric acid. I know, <laughs> but I like to have the cookies look pristine. Oh, okay. And I don't want the messy Cheeto fingers of the powdered sugar on all of the things. You know how when you eat a Cheeto and you get the orange fingers? That's how I feel about with the powdered sugar fingers. <laughs> so everybody, if you go to Stephanie's house, be very careful of touching your, your cookies. Just be fingers. very, very. They know exactly what I'm talking about. I know. Other cookies so we'll go through. We have about a minute left. Christmas crack. What's this? Okay, this is a saltine cracker that has that toffee layer and the chocolate layer. They're really delicious and super easy. That's the number one on the ease scale. So easy. Raspberry thumbprint. Okay, almond thumbprint with a jammy center with white powdered sugar. Okay. Delicious. And and again, all these, don't worry that we're going fast. All yeah. these will be on our, on our website. All the recipes are there. One more thing. This is your recipe, a great recipe. We always, your sugar cookies, your sugar cookies. I have made this. Yeah. Those are my Jason cookies. Look at the Jason cookies. I can't decorate, but I can make delicious cookies. This is the most... That's me? <laughs> That's you with the dirty beard. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> I, I am coming to your house and I'm d bringing a bunch of powdered sugar and dumping Just it everywhere. Like, like yeah. it all over. No, Give those cookies are amazing, so try those. All the recipes on Hanson's website, uh, right there, stephaniesdish.com. And don't forget to watch uh, her show, The One and Only Taste Buds, right now on Fox Local. Download the app on your smartphone, Fire TV, Apple TV, Android, or Roku. We will be right back. <laughs> Meet our last JVIP of the week today. It's Ter uh, Teresa from Wenatchee, from Wenatchee, Washington. That's also the hometown of our fill-in sidekick, our dear friend Shane Wells. Teresa says uh, she uh, loves all of our cooking segments, loves Stephanie, and loves the show. Well, thank you, sweetie. Teresa gets a Jason Show mug and entered to win the monthly grand prize that includes being a VIP guest in our audience, a $150 gift card to Becker Furniture, and a $250 gift card to Renew Med Spa. Stay right there. We're wrapping up the show when we return back after this. <laughs> Fallon will be starring in the off, off, off Broadway a, a version of Fiddler on the Roof starting the, uh, yeah. <laughs> you do, you look like you should be on a candle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you look, uh, are you warm though? Did it warm you up? It at did. All? Thank you so yeah. much. This was actually, we've said it before, this was made. A really sweet uh, woman was in the audience. She's had come here a couple times. We do keep it cool in here to keep everyone from falling asleep. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was for sweat. No. <laughs> so this woman had come a couple times and she was cold both times. So she made this. She crocheted this. And, and at it's the time, yeah. it matched the, the our set colors. It still kind of does. We've changed it over the years so uh but yeah so we use it to warm up the audience members or <laughs> fallon <laughs> 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 hey, uh, we're excited because Monday on the show, HDTV stars Brad and Heather Fox are going to be back in studio with some last-minute holiday decorating ideas. I, I still haven't decorated. I'm okay with that at this point. Plus, we're opening up the Jason Show mailbag. So if you want tickets to come see us next week, all you have to do is go to eventbrite.com or the Eventbrite app. Search the Jason Show. You pick a day. Boom. You're in uh, by 930 Central, and you're out by 1115. We would love to see you. That's next week. But right now, that's going to do it for us. Thanks to this great audience. Thanks to you for watching this week. If you're a kid watching and you're being bullied, you go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday, everybody. <laughs>